Hey, what's up, fishing with Evan family? I'm back again. I know it's been a while since I made my last video um, on that trout fishing. I just kind of took a little break. I just been doing too much trout fishing. So today we're gonna do a little something different. Um, so now it's like we're uh, around the um, kind of the beginning of March. Um, it's been warm for like almost about a week and week and a half, I wanna say. And these uh, temperatures are starting to rise in the rivers right here. I'm over here at Gravel Crossing. We're off the Land Passes River. So this is normally the time in the year where I can, you know, I start, you know, I'm catching meso to bass and crappie and stuff like that. So um, you know, it's my first time attempting a fly fishing. See, I got my fly rod right here. Attached to some bungee around the rod holder. You got this uh, little um, bin right here. I just when I strip the line, it'll go in there. No, I don't have to have a mess everywhere in my kayak like I've seen on some other YouTube videos. Seems like a pretty uh, awesome idea, so we'll see. That thing will ride smooth them. So then, uh, wish me luck. All right, peace. Oh my god, that was a rough haul. I mean, I know about this spot before, but like getting a freaking 80 pound kayak, wheel rolling it down from the gate all the way to this point right here, where it sinks to like a channel in the dirt, it just plain sucks. So if I had a battle buddy, you know, and they could help me out on this at least next time I come out here. But the water's looking pretty good, it's calm, so we're all good to go. Okay. <laughs> first time guys, first time. Pass along the shoreline there. Oh Lord, are you, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Now look at that. All underneath my daggone pedal drive. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna do this in my kayak again. Maybe a John boat or maybe uh, off the steps. But not, not here in my kayak. Somewhere here. All right. One here in the corner somewhere. We 
a lot of fish, a lot of bait this year. Keep a spot. Start out a little bit rough, but I think I'm starting to get a hang of things, guys. Just be patient with me. My very first time fishing this kayak. Fly fishing at least. Bring a lot of fish here, but it's not really flying anything. So fly fishing, unfortunately, is not my thing in the kayak. I mean, I can't get a cast far enough. The thing's too long, it keeps hitting the water. I keep tangling. There's just a lot of frustration going on and I'm, I don't have the patience to deal with it. So I'm gonna switch over my spinning reel and the troll, go uh, more down river and see what's up. Fish on. Swim bait. One down. You gotta watch her here. Gravel crossing, y'all. Gravel crossing. Decent fish right there. We're bringing a lot of fish on the right hand side, though. Man, I think that song's good luck, too. You know, I'm just uh, me and my wife. We love this song. Woo, about that. Stringer. I'm gonna throw my fly rod out here and see what happens. There's a spot here, he's catching a lot of fish in this exact area. A Casting all day, where's your butt out? Pretty good. 
so I can catch one. Let me see. He's gonna cast it in the middle. He's gonna drop it and retrieve it. As I was getting ready to leave, ran to an old buddy of mine. His name is Eric. He um, helped me lift my uh, heavy kayak off from the bank all the way to my truck. This is almost about 100 yards away up that steep hill. Thankfully, he was there. But anyways, uh, he runs a shop in Colleen called uh, Oscar the Mechanic. Oscar, the original owner, he's retired, so he turned the keys over to him. So if you guys ever want some uh, um, any of your vehicles done at a pretty good uh, price, and um, have your, the vehicle uh, back to you on time. This is definitely the man to hit up. So be sure to uh, get at him, Oscar the Mechanic and Colleen. He'll get you taken care of. All right, guys. So I'm um, back from this fishing trip back home. Today was the uh, most frustrating day ever. I don't think I'm ever going to get that heavy kayak down a uh, gravel crossing, you know, that from the parking lot. I mean, they could even it out at least, and the water was a bit high. It would have been perfect. So pretty much started from there, and um. And I kept, you know, um, like tangling my uh, fly rod against, you know, objects in my kayak. So I finally uh, put that little um, crate down on the bottom, which was uh, holding um, the most of the, you know, the, the loop while I was casting. Well, the first time I snagged it on a pedal drive pool, no problem. I got it out. The second time it was it was just done. So I'm gonna remember next time that to never to bring that. Um, uh, type of kayak out especially you know small river like that or parking lots pretty you know um far from the bank it was just a nightmare i mean i managed one fish thank god on a swim bait and so it's good to bring extras in case one thing fails on you or you get tired of fly fishing because it wears you out pretty quick so i got tired of that and then um decided to switch over to you know the spin rod so um Sorry I couldn't get a good episode, but at least I tried. Um, but next time, you know, I'm going to hit the steps, and do some uh, bank weight fishing, and it should be a lot better. All right, until next time, um, just uh, like and subscribe, and um, do what you guys do. Enjoy your weekend, and um, have a blessed one.